Hello and welcome back to another Applied Energy Statistics 2 video. Today we're talking about the AE2 stuff Advanced Inscriber and a little bit about the growth chamber but it's actually not the topic of this video because today we're talking about how to make a very compact um, and at least space efficient, perhaps not time, setup to craft your processors that means the engineering processor and then the logic ones. Let's remove these for now. And to craft them automatically in only one machine. There are other ways to do this. There are some mods that use uh, where you can insert items into any, any side. And then I have done videos about this before. But I wanted to cover this one because I, and it's a good setup but it has some problems due to a few bugs that I've encountered during this video. And I've seen other people report them, and if they will be fixed, then this is much better. If they won't be fixed, then I have a backup solution on this side. So I'll get to that later. Uh, and if things change too much, I'll make a new video replacing this one. Or if it's just minor updates, such as some tweak, then I'll update the video description information. And so regardless, check there for updates. All right, now let's go into details of how it works and what we have here. So no ME controller, it's only one small network. We have one crafting storage, one storage, and we have uh, the pattern and crafting terminal, and then two interfaces to handle the different types of crafting. This interface will take care of seeds and growing seeds into the pure crystals as well as making flux crystals, but they are not part of this. Uh, they are actually not part of any of these processors, but I had it anyway. <laughs> Basically, it looks like this. If I want to craft 30 of these, do it like this. They'll end up in here and they'll be crafted and then everything is done. Same thing with the seeds, but it takes a little bit longer time. Um, the key to this build is to make good patterns. The ones over here are not important. They are very straightforward ones to do in the, to use the chamber and the assembler. The interface will know what to use. But here comes the tricky part. Since all these first four require us to use the patterns. We need to provide the pattern or the logic press, engineering press and calculation and silicon press. We need to provide those and put them in a chamber to craft the item. So we have the press here and then we have the gold here and then we'll get the logic press here. This one, the logic circuit. And then the circuit, as you know, is used to craft the processor together with redstone and then the silicon. So we need to send the silicon and the press and then remove that and then send the gold and the press, remove that and then get everything out. And we can do that by having this box unlocked. Can be removed with automation if no process is ongoing and middle slot is empty. The problem with this is that it doesn't work 100% of the time. This is a known bug. It has been reported and as far as I know, it has not been fixed. Uh, this means that sometimes your pattern, your press, this one, your logic press or silicon press may be stuck here even though the crafting job is finished and the item has been imported into the network. It will just stay there until you go here and manually put it, take it out, put it into the network and then it will hopefully continue more smoothly, but perhaps it gets stuck again. I've seen this a few times. Some people say that you can have different type, a different amount of acceleration cards here or in the import bus to have the, what should we call it, a different ratio uh, or, but I think it ends up with timing issues and then it locks up in some unknown state. So play around with those, it might be different on different computers. I've seen differences during my first recording attempt where it didn't work, but it worked flawlessly before that. 
So let's take it step by step. The first, first thing we need is the silicon. We need one of these for all the processors. And the important part here is to make the pattern. Okay, done, done. We have it here. The important part here is to make the pattern to say create one inscriber silicon press and one printed silicon with inscriber silicon press. So the pattern looks like like this because you'll send both of them and get both of them back. Perhaps might be some other way to do this and that is smarter, but I think the main problem is just that we have things getting stuck. I try to do this with not the silicon press, but the problem is I think I have it here. Yeah. So if I remove that one, you can see it disappears from here and we insert this version instead. That is just printed silicon with one silicon and inscriber uh, press, but not the press as a result. We can craft one here, no problem. Done, just fine. But if we wanna craft 10 of these, we don't have this in the network. We won't get it back and that's the problem. So let's remove this one and place this one back and perhaps we need to cancel the crafting. I think it did that automatically. Okay, so and the, th the same thing goes with these printed logic circuits, uh, engineering circuits and calculation. They all have the, uh, the press as a result and they need to be extruded from this or extracted, imported to the network before we can do the next step. So how about the demonstration? Let's take the easy one first. You have already seen the silicon press, but we can take this one, make 10. I think this should be fine. Let's hope it is. <laughs> so it seems like it started with the logic circuits. This one stays here all the time, even though I think it's actually it might end up here between uh, between rounds. I don't know, but it's running, and after the final one, so see now we are doing okay. Now it's doing taking turns. So silicon inscriber silicon press remove and then take turns. Perhaps it would be smarter to have <laughs> the 10 silicon, but now we're getting every second. As long as it works, it doesn't really matter. But now it's behaving just fine, so that's a, that's a good thing. I tried to mitigate the problem by using crafting co-processing co units. Um, at first it seemed to work, but then after some time it actually didn't work anyway so um, as I said if you have look in the video description for updates and if you have suggestions of your own that you have tried then you know where to post them, post them and I'll look into it same thing goes with the uh, these ones exactly the same type of uh, crafting we're making the the print, the circuit from the diamonds, and then we have the silicon and everything. Seems to be having. And then we can do the final thing when this is done, we can do with the, the calculation processor. This one, the only difference is that we need to grow the seeds first into pure crystals. After that, it's exactly the same. And now when it's done, let's start that and you'll see how it looks. This one is craft. Well, this is done, finished. These are growing. This one is working on the silicon while we're waiting. These are done. They're back in the network. And 
it runs just fine. But know this, it might not always work for some reason. So if it, def if it doesn't work, then we can take a look at this. It seems very advanced. It's actually in some ways the same thing. I have an additional crafting unit here. That's not required, of course. Um, I just use it because I have an extra channel. This is the same. All these are exactly the same. But the patterns are different. They are more the classic type that tells us that one engineering processor is one diamond, one silicon and one redstone. So that's why we don't have the presses in here. We don't have the um, the recipe or the pattern for the for the circuits. We only have the processors over here. All these presses are in the system. If I remove them, the system actually thinks that we can craft them, but of course we can't. Here it's more traditional. You can use normal uh, normal inscribers here instead. Uh, you can't stack them as neatly because I think, uh, I'm not sure, you have to insert these from different uh, angles like top, back and bottom, I think, and then extract them from the side. Um, with the advanced inscriber, you can do it from any side. So that's, a, that's quite convenient. I'm powering all these through this. That powers all of them. And up here, I'm only using storage buses, another interface here, and then storage bus here, import buses down here. But everything you see here, including that one, is actually two networks. We have one network down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight here. And up here we have a small network, only a one, two, three, four, five, six. So how does this work? Well, before I start, let me tell you about the second bug I encountered. And that is that these advanced inscribers, and I tested it on the growth chambers as well. They seem to be connected and online, but they will not get power if you have quartz fiber between networks. That's why I'm having an additional energy cell here, because this part doesn't need one. Normally, you can just connect quartz fiber and that will power the next network, but these run out of, uh, <laughs> of power if I don't have it. I consider that a bug. So, patterns here, classic, they end up in the interface. This storage bus has silicon and uh, did I change the priority? I don't think so. Nope. Because here I had the inscriber silicon press, here I have the logic press and here is the calculation and then engineering over here. And all of these just have storage buses that makes sure that gold goes here, the service cords goes here, and then diamonds go here. And then the redstone end up here, because redstone are, is going to this, this machine. And then on the bottom side, we are extracting the printed silicon, the, the uh, logic pr circuit, calculation and engineering circuit, And we're storing them here. All of these are stored here. And then the final product comes out here. The finished processor import into this network and we store it here. And that means that it ends up back in this network. So now if we craft 10 of these, we can see all of these are at work. Running, running, running. And done. And I have stacked these with maximum amount of acceleration cards because here we don't have we don't have any uh, timing issues. Or do we? <laughs> Why isn't this extracted? Uh, 
Okay, seems like we have, do have a timing issue. Let's try that again with the engineering processors. Ah, we're out of redstone and the silicon, it seems. And go. We'll have these running. Everything is running. We'll get the silicon and the diamonds. Oh, there's the last one and then everything was done. Okay, don't know why the first one didn't work out. So let's make 10 more of those. So some things are fishy with these inscribers, even though we should be able to extract everything. Now everything went just fine. And then finally, we can test the calculations as well. Let's make 20 of those. We need to craft seeds and grow them. Run over here. We're already done. These are growing. And while they are growing, we perhaps are loading up with stuff. No, it waited. So now we're getting all the silicon, all the pure ones, all the redstone. And now it seems to behave just fine. Don't make a liar of me. I think we're waiting for the final two. So things tend to not work perfectly, even though I said it would. It would be really interesting to see, hear about your experience with this. We are one short, for example. Where is that? No, nope, it's done. They just got stuck. So that's weird. Uh, I don't know why. And by the way, why did I put this here? Let me get some redstone. That might have been left over for from some previous test. Um, because we can get the redstone go here directly. So that interface is actually not needed. <laughs> I think I rewrote it a few times, but this seems to work fine. Why they get stuck is um, a mystery to me, but I think it's just another bug with the inscribers. All right, I hope this is helpful uh, or interesting at least. If you have experiences of your own to fill in with, you know where to post them and please do. And Take a look at the video description for updates. Alright, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.